Hey everyone, RC Racing Innovations here. We're going to show the rigid front end kit how to uh, install it. It does require just a little bit of custom work. For one, um, you bolt it right to your um, Traxxas bulkhead. This is the same for the Slash, same bulkhead for the Rustler, same bulkhead for the Bandit. You remove your shock tower. I don't have it showing right there the screw so you can see you bolt it right in place right here right where your shock tower goes and this is where your turnbuckles also bolt to as you can see right here now for the arms this works best for the RPM arms these are the RPM banded arms this is a three millimeter thick rigid front end mounted in the vertical position so you have no chance of breaking whatsoever and it strengthens your arms if you get if you hit them from the front you also have that supporting your arm as well as your your pins there now to assemble it basically bolt that on there take your rpm arms now you're going to need a dremel is the best way as you can see with it being three millimeters thick right at the back let me try to get a right back there flush with the back of the arm right here you're gonna cut right there nice and flush then what you do is you can measure out three millimeters and then make a scribe line and then you're gonna cut that right there basically you're cutting this cross piece that goes from right there to right there and you're putting this in its place then take a flat file and then you could file that edge down uh, to get the desired um, fit on it you can have it fit tight, you can have it fit fairly smooth. I like to have it fit nice and tight. Um, so that's all you're going to do on that. Then what you're going to do is on the back side in the shock, the first mount hole, which is basically that first hump, you're going to take a 3 millimeter drill bit and you're going to drill straight through, but you're going to stop pretty much right where you see that bolt right there. I just put one in place. So you see that little uh, curve line right in the middle there? you're pretty much going to stop somewhere about there. You're not going to go all the way through. And what you're doing is you're allowing that 30 millimeter screw to go through and screw into the other side. And that's pretty much all it is to assemble it. Now, this is also adjustable. You have two mount holes, which is a little hard to see. You have two mount holes on this arm right here. You can see it right there on the top. That's your ride height adjustment. You got two different ride height adjustments. The bottom hole, you're going to pretty much be level, totally flat, totally straight across. And then with the next hole, it's going to drop your car down a little bit more. So it depends on the type of wheels you put on the front. That's going to depend what hole you put it in. Very, very strong front end, uh, making it rigid. And as you can see, these arms are flipped around. In case I didn't mention that the first time. So you flip your arms around. So typically this arm here goes on that side of the car, or vice versa. That's if you're running buggy style with shocks. So there you have it, the RC Racing Innovations front rigid kit how to install video. Thanks for watching.